I was raised in Carson, California with former middleweight boxer Matthew Mackin, manager of Michael Conlon. Matthew, how long has Michael been in Carson and uh, can you talk about his pro debut this coming month? Yeah, so we've, we've been here a week, oh, just over a week now. Um, you know, I spoke with Manny on the phone, uh, said that you know, I'd like Michael to come over here, work with him, see, see that they click. From, from my opinion, Manny was the, the, the right man for Michael, but obviously it's a marriage, isn't it? You've got a good fight, you've got a good trainer, but they have to, they have to click. Right. So um, you know, it was important for that to happen, so we had to do that before he goes into proper camp, almost right. like a little free camp to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. Also, to, if he does like it here, we wanted to get him some accommodation sorted so that when he comes back here after the holidays that he's really hitting the ground running, he doesn't need two weeks to get to know each other. It's like they can get to work straight from day one and, you know, after the very first day, Mick said to me, no, I like so you guys are planning here. on being here before the holidays, go back home and, and come back? Yeah, exactly. We come out here for like 10 days, just under two weeks, uh, for Mick to uh, get comfortable with Manny, to make sure that they, you know, they click. Uh, sort out his accommodation, car, all that sort of thing. So he can go home now, enjoy the holidays, do a little bit of training, just, you know, just ease back into it. So when he comes back out here then, after the new year, you know, he'll really be hitting the ground running in, uh, in preparation for his pro debut, which is March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, at Madison Square Garden. So uh, you know, for an Irish fighter to turn a professional. How do you think the reception will be at Madison Square Garden with all these Irish fans it, rooting for Michael It'll Conley? be mental. The, the, the roof will fall off. I mean, it'll be... Uh, it, it, it's a fairy tale professional debut, you know, it really is, and uh, listen, he deserves it because he's that kind of... He's... Will you bring your memories, like when you yeah. fight Gennady Golovkin and Sergio Martinez back in New York? Well, the Martinez one, it'll be five years to the day, it'll be exactly five years to the day that Today? I fought Sergio Martinez. No, on, on, when, oh, when Mick makes his professional Patrick's debut, right, right. March 17th, yes. it'll be five years to the day that I fought Sergio Martinez in the same arena, so uh, yeah, it'll bring back a lot of memories for me, but I'm just, uh, my career's been and gone now, and I'm just looking forward to... Uh, guiding Michael in his career and, and I'm excited about what he can achieve. How was uh, Manny Robles contacted to, to be Michael's uh, trainer? Well I know Manny, I know Manny from six years ago more when I was training in the wild card and he used to bring two Russian brothers, the Chudanovs, Dmitry and Fedor up to spar with me so right. I knew him from then and then uh, Jason Quigley is a guy I know, he's an Irish fighter, right, he, right. he boxes out of this gym. Yes. So uh, my, my last fight was in April uh, and for that fight I was based out here in Los Angeles and on, on uh, maybe I think seven or eight of those days I, I came over here and sparred with Jason here at this gym. Uh, I obviously seen the, the sparring that was here in and around Michael's weight and uh, for, for me Manny's one of the, the best up and coming trainers in the sport, if not the best, particularly with Oscar Valdez and Jesse Magdalena here also. You know, he's got, you, couldn't, you couldn't ask for, you couldn't dream of better sparring. So, uh, yeah, as long as Mick was happy with it and as long as him and Manny clicked, because I believe, it, you know, training for it, it's not all about the best trainer or the best fighter. They have to, they have to gel, it's a marriage, and, uh, you know, Mick come over and it's the first day he liked it, you know, they, they clicked straight away, they were working well on the mitts together. And uh, yeah, he's excited about getting. He's excited about getting home, enjoying the Christmas, but he's excited about getting back to work. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been a very beneficial trip. Uh, we've covered a lot of ground, got a lot of things done, and uh, most importantly, him and Manny have gelled, and uh, they're looking forward to working with each other. Who do you think he'll be sparring with once he starts? Once he gets back from home and starts his uh, eight-week uh, training? Yeah, I think he'll be back. I think uh, us, you know, it depends who's here in the gym at the time, who's, who, who's in camp, but uh, certainly. Oscar Valdez, Jesse McDonough, they're, they're guys that Mick's going to be working with, Manny's son, you know, anyone in and around the kind of 122, 126, maybe even a little bit lighter, those sort of weights, anyone in the gym that's kind of looking for work. How do you feel about Michael developing his young career here in the States instead of uh, back home? I think this is the best place for him, you know, I think the, the sparring he's got here, he's, he's promoted by top rank, uh, you know, I think Mick's already a star back home, you know, he, he won Sports Personality of the Year, on RTE, terrestrial television in Ireland, he's a world amateur champion, you know, multi, he's won numerous national titles, you know, Commonwealth Games gold medalist, European gold medalist, best boxer of the European Games, so Mick's already a star back home, so for him to come over here to America, conquer America, become a pay-per-view star here, that's the plan, that's top ranks plans for him as well, uh, and, and, and of course all his fights will be televised. Uh, back home and hopefully and, and he will fight at least once a year back was home. Was he being heavily recruited by 
by the British promoters back home as well. Yeah, all the British, Irish, all the American promoters. Everyone wanted to sign Michael Conlon. Michael Conlon is one of the best amateurs turning pro in, in the last few years. You know, he's a, he's a massive potential. Uh, not only from a, a great fighter, but he's, you know, he, he's got bags of personality as well. And uh, he, he, you know, managed, promoted, trained. As long as he puts the work ethic, everything's done properly. He's got the right team. There's no reason why he doesn't go on and become a big star in the sport of boxing. Anything else you would like to say to the fight fans regarding Michael's pro debut on March uh, 17th? No, if you like uh, if you like live boxing, you like an atmosphere, you want to be there on March 17th because I guarantee you, you won't have seen too many things like this. The roof is going to come off this place when he walks that, makes that ring walk. Thank you for your time. Um, okay. Matthew, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Conlan's manager, Matthew Macklin. Thank you. <laughs>